Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 98, and the question is number 2. It reads, the cyclist is travelling along the straight road at 10 metres per second. A lorry is travelling along the same road in the opposite direction at 15 metres per second. Using i-hat as the unit vector in the same direction as the cyclist is moving, write down v sub c, the velocity of the cyclist, v sub vcl, the velocity of the cyclist relative to the lorry. And after how long? After they pass, will they be half a kilometre apart? So the first thing, of course, we do is we draw y-axis and our x-axis, making our xy our Cartesian plane. We define our unit vectors, like so. And then we draw the two vectors. Now, obviously, the only thing that matters that a vector is its magnitude and direction. So that vector is the same as this one, it's the same as this one. So for that reason, I'm going to say that the velocity of the cyclist is going to be in the i hat direction, the velocity of the lorry in the j hat or the negative i hat direction, and I won't draw them on top of each other because I don't have to. So I'll say that this here is the velocity of my cyclist, and that was equal to the magnitude of which was equal to 10. Here we have the velocity of the lorry, the magnitude of which was equal to 15. This lorry is hardly moving, in fact. And then what we will do is we'll say find out what the velocity of the cyclist is it VCL isn't it? VCL the velocity of the cyclist relative to the lorry. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, it's a vector, and so are these, and its formula is VC minus VL. But what it physically means is that the lorry can be considered to be stationary. It's in, a, it's, the, it's in a frame of reference where, whereby he can consider himself to be stationary. So, uh, like I've said in my, th in my theory video, in the introduction to this, I said that everybody can, consider, everybody can consider themselves to be stationary and the world moving around them, or they can consider the world to be stationary and them moving around the world. So, in this case, what we're saying is that the, the second part of VCL, or the second part of any of these, is the, the stationary frame of reference. So we'll be considering, the lorry is basically considering itself to be stationary. So we're going to get V times C, VCL is equal to VC. Now VC is 10 I hat plus 0 J hat. And we have minus. Now you just got to be careful with your signs, of course. And we're going to get, um, it's going to be negative 15 I hat plus 0 J hat. So always use your brackets like so, and you will never make a mistake. So VCL is equal to 10 i hat plus 0 j hat plus 15 i hat plus 0 j hat and you can add of course anything that's in the same unit vector direction so we're going to get 25 i hat plus 0 j hat now that of course is a higher speed than either of those are moving on their own and the question is does that make sense well yes of course it does because if, for example, you're moving, as we looked there, in the i-hat unit vector direction or to the right, and the other one is moving, the other vehicle is moving to the left, well, they are moving apart quicker than if they're moving in the same direction. Of course. And uh, you'll know this, of course, if you're on a motorway and there's, the, the cars on the opposite side of the motorway going in the opposite direction seem to be moving faster than the cars on your side. And it's for that reason. Oh, yeah, you could just see it up there. So the next thing, of course, we're going to find out how long will it be a, a, a half a kilometre apart. So we have the formula distance speed to time like this. So we'll say 500 metres is equal to speed by time. So 25 times, actually before I do that, excuse me, I just want to make one part clear. We need to find the magnitude of VCL. The magnitude, okay, so the magnitude squared is equal to 25 squared plus zero squared so vcl is equal to we'll say root 25 squared equals 25 and why that's important is because in this case yes the j hat unit vector dimension direction is is zero however when it's non-zero this will not be equal to 25 all right so if you're doing a distance speed time it's the magnitude of the speed that you put into it so distance speed time all right so it's going to be 500 is equal to the magnitude of VCL times the time. So it's going to be equal to 
t is going to be equal to 500 over 25 all right which is equal to 20 seconds which is correct all right so that was pretty straightforward you just need to be calm and understand exactly what's happening so thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel